Patrick Knight here at the uh, XL Energy Center before the Wild getting ready to set off on a five-game road trip. But before they do, we're catching up with Daryl Powell and Josh Harding, two country fans on the team. Good week to catch up with them. The CMA is airing on Wednesday, so we wanted to kind of get their picks on some of the major categories. But before we do that, just kind of introduce everyone. Daryl's new to the team. He was traded here uh, from Philly during the offseason. Enjoying your time. Easy to get acclimated here to the new teammates. Yeah, it's been good since I got here. Everyone's great on the team and, uh, you know, really enjoying the city. And we got Josh, of course. He's been in net the last four games. Big four-game win streak for the Wild. Uh, when you found out you were coming back and going to be starting and they told you there was going to be Detroit, were you like, thanks a lot, throwing me right in the fire with Detroit? But uh, how does it feel? How does the knee feel? Glad you're back. Yeah, it feels great, uh, you know, just back battling with the boys. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, I had a couple uh, good uh, good tests out there, and, you know, I thought the boys played great, and, you know, hopefully we can keep it going on the road. All right, well, I know the food smells delicious. You guys got to eat before you get out of here, so we'll get going. Let's start with New Artists of the Year. Daryl, we'll start with you. Uh, the band Perry is up, Luke Bryan, Eric Church, Thompson Square, and Chris Young. Who do you think is going to win that category? Hmm. I'm a big uh, Thompson Square fan. I like a couple of the songs they got, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with them. You're going to go with Thompson Square? Yeah. Josh, who are you going to go with? Uh, I think I'm going to go with Eric Church. Uh, yeah. uh, loving yeah. that CD. Yeah, he hooked me up with the CD, so I'm, uh, you know, I've been listening to it a little bit. I would also agree. Eric <coughs> Church would probably win. Um, let's do Female Vocalist of the Year. Uh, it's Sarah Evans, Miranda Lambert, Martina McBride, Taylor Swift, and Carrie Underwood. We'll start with you, Josh. Who do you think is going to win that one? Well, I think Miranda Lambert's going to win, but uh, uh, hopefully uh, I'm actually cheering for Carrie Underwood. You're going to go with Carrie? Yeah, yeah. I think Miranda's going to win, but, uh, you know, obviously uh, you know, Carrie's a, a lot better looking. You're going to go with Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, do you agree or are you going to pick somebody else? Uh, well, I agree with Hards for sure. I, I think, uh, you know, I'm a big Carrie Underwood fan. I think Taylor Swift's great, but uh, Miranda Lambert, I think she's had a big year. So oh, he's going to go with Yeah, uh, I think she's the winner. I'm going to have to stick with my guns and go with Carrie. Anybody that listens to the station knows that I'm going to go with Carrie. But you bring up Carrie, I've got to ask you guys quickly. She's married to Mike Fisher, plays in the league. Do you guys get to make fun of him at all? Or does he have the ultimate like, trump card on the ice? Yeah. Be like, I don't care what you guys are saying. I'm married to Carrie Underwood. There's, there's not much you can actually say to that. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, another one we'll do here, male vocalist of the year. Jason Aldean, Kenny Chesney, Brad Paisley, Blake Shelton, Keith Urban. Daryl, who do you think? i got to go with Keith Ur Urban. He's... Uh, you know, he's got a lot of good hits, and I'm a big fan. So. Big year, yeah, for sure. I'm going to go with Jason Aldean. I, uh, you know, I, I love Jason Aldean. Uh, that Red Dirt Road or... or uh, Dirt Road Anthem. Dirt Road yeah, Anthem. That's exactly. Uh, and that, that remix that he did with Ludacris is actually pretty sweet. Yeah, it's, so. uh, that's a great song. I have to, again, I have to go with Josh. I think Jason's going to win as well. Um, before we get to Entertainer of the Year, let's do albums quick. Uh, Blake Shelton's up for All About Tonight. Aldean for My Kind of Party. Taylor Swift and Speak Now, Brad Paisley for This Is Country Music, and then the Zach Brown Band with uh, You Get What You Give. Josh, we'll start with you. I'm going to have to stick to the guns and go with Jason Aldean again. For my uh, kind of party. Yeah, my kind of party, but, uh, you know, I'm going to uh, the Zach Brown Band show. So, oh, you're uh, right, maybe, maybe I'll be able to, uh, maybe I'll be a little bit biased after that. <laughs> Change your opinion then yeah, after the maybe, awards. Okay. Right now it's Jason Aldean. Cool. Daryl? I'm going with Zach Brown, man. I'm oh, a big a fan, and I like what they stand for, and uh, they got a lot of good tunes, so I'm going to go with them. Well, I want to win this. I'm going to go with Taylor Swift and Speak Now, just because I think it's sold more than anything else, so I'm going to go on a limb there. If I had to go with my heart, I'd say Aldean, but I'm going to go with Taylor just because I want to get that one right. <laughs> um, and then finally, the big one, of course, Entertainer of the Year. we got Aldean, Paisley, Blake Shelton, big year with The Voice and being on TV, and then Taylor Swift and Keith Urban. Daryl, we'll start with you. I'm going to go back to my boy, Keith Urban. Keith Urban? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know, I've, I've actually seen a lot of these people, and, uh, you know, one of the best concerts I've ever been to, a couple of them now, is Brad Paisley. So, uh, you know, I'm going to switch it up with Brad Paisley, but, uh, you know, I, I still like Jason Aldean, too. But go with BP. All right. And I'm going to go with Aldean on this one. Guys, good luck on the road trip. You guys are back in town in a couple weeks, playing in, I think, Colorado. Tickets are still available. Come down and see these guys. They're entertaining. So... You guys, thank you and good luck on the road trip.